11th lecture note the title of this lecture note is constitutional law we are going to look at this in three aspects the first introduction to constitutional law the second constitutional rights freedoms and duties of a person the third state system let us look at the first aspect introduction to constitutional law constitutional law is the basic branch of law in russia the subject of its regulation consists of two groups of public relations related respectively to the foundation of the state system that is power relations as well as human rights freedoms and duties the fundamental source of constitutional law is a constitution from latin constitutio establishment institution organization that is the basic law of the state which has the highest legal force in its legal system and constituent nature adopted modified and legally protected in a special way constitutional and legal norms and relations have a number of features that is declarative general constituent political mainly imperative and truncated structure of norms special subjects composition basic nature and specific mechanism for implementing relations the oldest constitution in force in the world were adopted in the united states in 1787 in belgium in 1830 in Norway in 1901 part of the french constitution is the declaration of the rights of man and citizen in 1789 currently all states of the world have a written constitution except for britain and new zealand where separate laws judicial practice customs and doctrinal provisions have constitutional significance usually consolidated in the form of a single normative act exceptions are sweden israel france the history of russian constitutionalism in the strict sense of the word began with the post revolutionary period that is in the russian empire constitutional acts existed in poland and finland the, ma- the main state laws of 19 06 had a certain significance for constitutional development during the soviet period the constitution of the of the rssfsr of 1918 1925 and 1937 and 1978 the constitution of the ussr of 1922 1936 and 1977 were adopted The current constitution of the Russian Federation was adopted in a national referendum on December 12, 1993. Structurally, it consists of a preamble, section 1, including nine chapters, fundamentals of the constitutional system, human and civil rights and freedoms, federal structure, president of the Russian Federation, federal assembly, gov men of the Russian Federation judicial power and prosecutor's office local local self government constitutional amendment and revision of the constitution and section 2 final and transitional provision the provision of chapter 1 2 and 9 of the constitution can only be reviewed by a constitutional assembly convened in accordance with a federal constitutional law Let us look at the second aspect constitutional rights freedoms and duties of a person constitutional rights freedoms and duties of the ba- are the basis of the legal status of a person and a citizen they are regulated by chapter 2 of the constitution of the russian federation a person's subjective constitutional right is defined as the measure of their possible behavior freedom is the subjective ability of a person to f- perform or not to perform specific actions based on their rights human rights and freedoms are recognized by the constitution of the russian federation as the highest value it is established that they determine the meaning content and application of laws the activities of the legislative and executive authorities 
local self government and are provided with justice. According to the spheres of public relations, constitutional rights and freedoms are divided into the following groups. The first, civil or personal, that is, the right to life, security, dignity, freedom, and personal inviolability of private life, personal and family sacred, protection of honor and good name, inviolability of the home, determinants. Determine and specify their national identity, freedom of movement, conscience and religion, thought and speech. The second, political, that is, rights to association, peaceful assembly, meeting, demonstration, and other public demonstration, participation in government, and the right to appeal. The third, economic, social, and cultural, that is, rights of free participation in economic activities, to private property, to work. Protection of motherhood and childhood, social security, housing, health and medical care, to a favorable environment, to education, freedom of creativity. Constitutional duties include paying legal established taxes and fees, preserving nature and the environment, taking care of natural resources, protecting the fatherland, preserving historical and cultural heritage, and protecting historical and cultural monuments. Let us now look at the third aspect, state system. The constitution described Russia as a democratic, social, legal, federal, secular state with a republican form of government. According to the form of state territorial structure, Russia is a federation characterized by such characteristics as mix, that is, national, territorial, constitutional, centralized nature, asymmetry of subjects, the presence of a single monetary system, federal citizenship, and unified armed forces. The constitution of the Russian Federation establishes issues of exclusive competence of the Russian and joint competence. The remaining issues that are not listed are within the competence of the subjects. According to the form of government, Russia is a mixed semi-presidential republic. Along with classical branches of government, which are distinguished within the framework of the idea of separation of powers, which is one of the constitutional principles, that is legislative, executive, and judicial, the presidential power occupies a special position. The president of the Russian Federation ensures the coordinated functioning of all branches of state power, not being an organizational part of any of them, but having powers over each. Legislative participation in the legislative process, the possibility of dissolving the lower house of parliament, executive direct management of part of the executive authorities responsible for foreign policy, defense, security, and law enforcement, determination of the system and structure of federal executive authorities, indirect and Indirect the, in, indirect the entire system of executive power, judicial appointment of judges, except for judges of constituent entities of the Russian Federation. The legislative power in, the Russian, in Russia is represented by the bicameral federal assembly, low house, the state Duma, 450 deputies, the top, the, feder, the federal the Federation Council, two representatives from each subject of the Russian Federation, one from legislative representative and executive body of state authority, members appointed by the president whose mem- number shall not exceed 10% of the number of members of Council of Federation, representative of the constituent entities of the Russian Federation. The main function of this body is legislative, but each chamber also has its own executive function related to regulation in established areas, the appointment of certain senior officials. The government of the Russian Federation is the highest collegial body of executive power. Its status is, is determined by federal constitutional law. The composition of this body shall be composed of the chairman of the government, that is the Prime Minister, his Deputy, Vice Premier, 
and federal ministers. Its main powers include development and execution of the federal budget, implementation of a unified policy in the areas of finance, culture, science, education, health, social security, ecology, manage, management of federal property, taking measures to ensure defense security, implementation of foreign policy, legality, rights, and freedoms. Judicial power in Russia is exercised through constitutional, civil, administrative, and criminal proceedings. In our country, there are two higher courts whose status is determined by the constitution and special federal constitutional laws. That is, the constitutional court that officially interprets the constitution, exercises constitutional control, and the Supreme Court that, that heads the system of courts of general jurisdiction, arbitration, and military courts is the highest instance for considering specific cases, forms, guidelines, and generalization of judicial practice. The Constitution of the Russian Federation recognizes the rights of citizens to local self-government, which ensures the independent decision of the population on local issues, ownership, use and disposal of municipal property. Local self-government is carried out by citizens through referendum, elections, and other forms of direct expression of will through elective and other local authorities. And with that, we come to the end of the 11th lecture. Thanks.